except a white person not being able to do it, a disabled white person, meaning you don't know your colors. See, in other words, you have to know the difference between one color and another in order to be a white supremacist. Now, a person who might you might say has lost his or her mind and does not know one color from another, that white person, even though the person is white, cannot be a white supremacist because an absolute requirement of a white supremacist, first of all, is that you have to know one color from another, particularly when it comes to people. If you don't know one whether a person is white or non-white, then you will have a tendency to treat everybody the same. A white supremacist is duty-bound not to treat everybody the same. You are duty-bound that if a person has color in his or her skin, but under the system of white supremacy, you are duty-bound to do harm to that person. You cannot do have a mindset of that you're going to help that person do anything of constructive value. Mm-hmm. Why? The white supremacist system is designed to do just the opposite, to do harm to that person. 